Hi folks, my next project on the EP3 will be installing a fire extinguisher. This is just going to be a handheld fire extinguisher mounted in the car as opposed to a full fire suppression system. Anyway, simple uh, powder fire extinguisher and one of the smaller ones. Then we'll have the brackets here from Cap Industries. Um, just as this is a metal bracket that I will fit to the passenger seat just uh, literally in front of where the seat mounts and these two holes here and here mount into the front seat uh, bolts. I've got two stickers and two screws to mount the fire extinguisher cage onto the bracket here and this strap while not relevant to me is for the larger fire extinguishers um, basically you'll see it's foam lined there that will mount on and you'll bend it round and it becomes uh, an anti-rattled strap just to provide a bit of extra security to hold the fire extinguisher on to that the diameter of this is too big for my smaller fire extinguisher so i can't use it but uh, hopefully this fire extinguisher mounts on a-ok -okay. Uh, without the strap and doesn't rattle about so we'll find out this is a very straightforward install and I will crack on with it now okay folks the first step to installing this fire extinguisher will be to mount the fire extinguisher and its cage onto the bracket here so if I release this from its cage or try to okay that's it off the cage um, this is going to be the front of the car and the back of the car so I'm going to be coming if I ever need to get the fire extinguisher from this side so if I'm putting my hand across this way it'll be easier to get it out that way so I'm going to mount it like so and try and get it centred as well if I can okay it's not going to be exactly centred by the just the way those bolt holes work but that's probably close enough there. Get the bolts and nuts ready and drop them through. One, and two, flip this over. Start putting these nuts through. It's one Leslie in and the next one. Okay and uh, just as a heads up i think this is a four mil allen key from memory and that's an eight mil spanner if i can do this while recording i'd be a lucky man try not to drop it Okay, I will uh, come back to you whenever I have this all attached. Okay folks, you will see I have the cage mounted to the bracket there. So I'm pretty much good to go to get the seat belt or the seat mount bolts out of the car and get this attached into it. So we'll move into the car now. Okay folks, you'll see I'm in the footwell of the passenger side of the car. Time to get these seatbelt bolts out and moved out of the way. You'll see I have a set of aftermarket bucket seats in the car. So hopefully this works because obviously it's designed with a standard seat in mind. And as you probably see I might have cheated here and got these bolts loosened. Listened as well. Okay, 
okay, there's the other one out. Now time to get the fire extinguisher bracket in. Okay, you can roughly see that the seat bracket is in place. Let's try to start lining up these bolts. Get the ratchet to start tightening them properly. Okay, that is the bracket tight and in place. Now time to see if the extinguisher mounts in a-okay. Okay folks, there we go. That's a good neat install and works perfectly fine with the aftermarket seats. Have plenty of clearance there and it's fairly secure that way and those bolts are good and tight that way. Bit of flex in the bracket there but it's nothing to be too concerned about. But yeah, job done, neat install. Hi folks, I'm just coming back to this retaining strap here. I've decided to fit it. Um, while it will be a tad loose on the setup for me with my smaller fire extinguisher just in case I ever roll the car because bear in mind this car is a track car I thought it'd be good just to have it from a safety point of view even if it is a little loose as I said so I have attached this like so 